Quick video on my Matthew Martin clicky pen. Hadn't seen any other videos on this pen. There was one pen video, I think, from, I don't know, Shot Show or Knife Show or some more Blade Show, something like that. But no real actual videos on this, so I just thought I'd throw up a quick video on it to uh, give people an idea if they were in the hunt for a new pen. I carry pens to work every day. Because I use them so much, I don't mind spending a little bit more on a nicer pen that I'm not going to lose, that I'm going to get a lot of use out of. And uh, I saw this pen, the Matthew Martin Clicky Pen. I much prefer Clicky Pens. I hate dealing with the caps because it's just too much effort to take the cap off, but I just, I just don't have the the time and the effort to put that much into my pens. So I love it when I see these clicky pens. This one actually pretty reasonably priced, $60, and it's a relatively small pen. This one is made of copper. This is the little uh, information thing that comes with it. Body's made of copper. The tip is made out of titanium. The clicky mechanism is the same German clicky mechanism that every other clicky pen that I've used has, and I'll show you that. Uh, it comes with a Fisher Space Pen refill that you can take, uh, get to by removing the tip there. But here's the pen, just for a quick size comparison, some of my other pens. Tough Rider Precision Press Pen, United Cutlery Pen, and my Surefire Pen. So I was actually surprised at how small this pen was. I kind of pictured it being a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, but it's definitely a smaller pen. Smaller in the pocket, but it's a chunky little pen, ounce and a half. So it's got a little bit of heft to it. And as I've come to use it, I actually like the small size. You know what I call this a tactical pen? No, I probably wouldn't. I mean, okay, could you use it? Yeah, you could. It's a, it's a stout little pen, but I don't really view it as that. I just view it as a, a little bit of a nicer pen that I use and carry every day. Mentioning the, the clicky mechanism, we'll get this one out of the way, because the clickies here are all exactly the same, as you can see. They're all this apparently German-made clicky mechanism that all of these pens have. And it's a nice, smooth mechanism. Works really well. I guess that's why everyone uses it. The pen comes in a couple different materials that you can get it. This one is made of copper, like I, like I showed you. So I guess, you know, this, this develops a little bit of a patina to it, which maybe that means, I don't know if this will eventually look like the Statue of Liberty, green with, you know, the copper, I don't know. Uh, you can see here, from where I keep it in my pocket, I usually have a, a knife on this side of it, so it gets a little scraped up right here. Uh, I don't mind. I kind of like the patina that it's forming. I've had it for uh, a couple weeks now. Something that I'm semi-crazy about or not is the O-rings that it comes with. It comes with no O-rings on it, with just these indents right here where the O-rings go. For me, those are a little bit, a little bit sharp in use. I want something a little bit more comfortable. They include these O-rings with it separately and you can just uh, just put those on there. However, I thought the O-rings just seemed a little bit big for my taste, so I went out to the hardware store and picked up some smaller O-rings that I put on there, uh, or that I will put on there. I tried them just to see, but wanted to show you how the pen comes initially. And these take up a little bit more, they're a little less big, and I do prefer these a little bit more. So, and also it slides into the pocket a little bit easier with them. So I'll be replacing all these with these smaller O-rings. Writing wise, I mean, it's, you know, it writes just fine. It's got the Fisher Space Pen refill, so no problems there. It comes with a black refill that you can get to by removing the tip here. Spring refill. Put it back together. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to throw that quick video on this pen out there. If you're looking for a new different pen, this one comes in several varieties, copper, carbon fiber, uh, there might be a titanium, I can't remember specifically now, um, and then I think there's a brass as well. But it's a nice little pen. I enjoy the little size of it, so check one out, the Matthew Martin Clicky Pen.